Hey guys, Scott Mears here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a new thing that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be interviewing influencers and um, leaders in their industry. So here it is. Uh, here's James Nicholson, my first, uh, my first influencer. He's one of the UK's top leading uh, digital marketers, making over 20 million pounds for his business and over 100 million pounds for his customers. He's crafted his his um, digital marketing skills over 12 years of experience and now I'm here to pick his brains and understand a bit more of the digital age so I can bring value to you and also I can learn as well. So I'm going to fire off, there's going to be about uh, five or eight questions so I'm yeah, going to yeah, fire off. Cool. Right. Um, so the first one is how do you get seen in this digital age? Um, the, the best way is to produce content that gives value to an audience first. So uh, the big mistake is that a lot of businesses make is they try to sell to people straight away. But uh, if you try to sell, the algorithms on, this, on uh, Facebook and Twitter will just stop your, your uh, reach going out. But if you mm -hmm. give uh, valuable content, particularly video is very good at the moment, mm -hmm. uh, then that will get a bigger reach on uh, the social networks and stuff like that. And also people will share stuff. So if, if you make a, a, a good valuable video for an audience, uh, there's a good chance that they will share it with their friends and, and other business associates if it's business to business. Whereas if you have an offer and you're just selling stuff, it's very unlikely that that's gonna get uh, passed around on social media. Interesting, no thank you for that. So very interesting to know. Um, and moving forward, this is a bit more an interesting one, is what three tips would you give to all startups? What three tips? So um, uh, first off is, is the same first tip would be to, to start with content because uh, what it does, if you, if you have content, uh, if you're totally new as a business owner, uh, you don't have customers, no one likes you, uh, no one trusts you and no one's gonna buy your products or services. So uh, going out there, giving value to an audience, tips and strategies, and this could work for anyone. It could be a plumber, uh, it could be a roofer, it could be a taxi driver, it could be someone that runs an e-commerce store. Um, uh, it could be all, all sorts of different industries. Uh, but by giving content, you're positioning yourself as an expert. So when you do look to offer products and services, you get more money. Uh, so content is, is the first thing you need to do. Uh, the second thing you need to do is you need to turn people into customers. So you want to get as many customers as you can. Uh, so uh, we do that uh, and we train people how to do that with a micro purchase. Um, so turning people into, into a micro purchase is essential. Uh, so heavily discount something similar to like a Black Friday sort of promo uh, and, and get as many people turned into a customer as you can. And, and sorry, the second step should have been uh, that you want to capture them as a lead. So uh, gone are the days where people will sign up to your email list. Uh, we don't want more email. So if you want to get people's data, uh, which is essential to build a database so you've got some valuable assets in your business, you need to have things like guides and reports and discount vouchers that people opt in to get. So they give you their name and email address and in return you give them a valuable guide or report uh, that's going to take them down the line towards becoming a customer. Fantastic. No That's interesting. And James is teaching me through this for the past three days and it's really interesting. I can see, I learned what you've been saying, so it is very interesting to see you rehash that. Um, so moving, this is going to go a little bit deeper back to your younger self. Yeah. Um, what advice would you give your younger self? This is a bit more. Um, I think I was quite reserved when I started out in business. Um, I think you just need to, to go for it, uh, not be scared. Uh, I think it's important to get as much training uh, as you can. So I've spent well over a hundred grand on, on training courses um, and just getting as much knowledge on uh, marketing in particular. I think um, if you want to be successful in business, you have to be a marketer. Um, lots of business owners want to outsource their marketing to other agencies and stuff like that, but that's not the right thing to do. You might get some people to do certain parts of your marketing, but you need to be an expert marketer so you know that they're doing it right because even agencies are doing most marketing wrong. If you're a small business, you don't want to be trying to brand your business. You want to be getting customers. You want to be getting sales. Uh, and, and branding your business is the quickest way uh, to go bankrupt if you're a small business because you, you can't afford to do that. You see the big companies like Nike and Apple and stuff like that, they, they obviously can afford to, to brand themselves to success. But for you guys, you've got to build databases, you've got to get a list of customers as quickly as you can. So um, yeah, I, I, the, the tip would be to just get as much knowledge on marketing as you can. As much knowledge. Yeah. 
And, and that's what t t tied me to come to this course was just I wanted to become a master at one thing rather than trying to become a general at everything. Yeah, uh, exactly. And cool. I believe that's so key. Um, so moving on, this is a bit of a deep one as well. Yeah. Uh, I hope you're comfortable to answer this one, but what is your biggest fail failure and how did you learn from it? So my biggest failure was my first, I had a business that was doing two million pounds a year and uh, we were very, very successful business. We were selling uh, consumer electronics, so things like iPhone speakers, iPhone cases and stuff like that. And we were selling a lot of it. Uh, we were doing a million a year on our e-commerce stores and we were doing a million a year on Amazon. And uh, we had a problem on, on Amazon, which meant that we lost our account. And uh, the, the issue that we had there was all our eggs were pretty much, well, not in one basket, they were in two, but we lost 50% of our sales overnight, which meant the business got a cash flow crisis and meant we, we couldn't afford to service our customers and the business ultimately failed from that. So I think it's essential if you're a business owner, you have uh, as many routes uh, to get customers as, as you can. So you wanna look at things like YouTube and Facebook uh, and Google uh, and Twitter and have uh, as many as you can and get as many of those working because uh, a lot of people now look at just Facebook because Facebook is really effective. Uh, but what happens if you lose your account? Do you lose your business? Uh, but if you've got people coming in from YouTube as well, uh, and you've got people coming in from Twitter and Google, it's gonna be a lot safer for your business. So um, yeah, the tip would be just to make sure you've got multiple ways to get customers really. Yeah, it goes back to that saying, doesn't it? Just don't have all your eggs in one basket. Yeah, it and I did, and it, and it, and and it, it cost, cost me big time, so. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Um, yeah, so moving on, I guess you kind of already um, have answered this, but I was gonna say, what would you advise above all else in business? Get started. I mean, most business owners don't get started. They've got uh, ideas and, and, and things in their head and something's just holding them back. Um, you need to just uh, make decisions quickly. If you wanna be successful in business, um, you, you just have to go for it. Um, not everything you do is gonna work. A lot of things aren't gonna work, but you need to just get through the, the failures quickly and you'll get to the big successes. So I see so many businesses that are just paralyzed by fear. Uh, do I buy this for 500 pounds and it takes them weeks to, to weigh up whether they need to, to buy that or not. They need to just go for it. Sometimes that decision will be good, sometimes it won't be as good, but you'll keep getting through the failures and you will get to the successes a lot quicker. Um, so everyone that's successful has failed lots of times yeah. and the, the people that are ultra successful have failed a lot more than anyone else, they've just done it quicker. Mm. Uh, so you just gotta fail quickly and you'll get to the success. Yeah, quickly and be successful, yeah. fantastic. Um, we're going to move more on to the personal side of things, and this is one that's very key for me, I know, is how do you truly understand your value? And it, more importantly, how do you be confident with that? Be confident with your value and charging people a certain value and be confident. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a hard one. Like most businesses price themselves too cheaply. Um, they, 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 uh, they don't value themselves, like you're saying, Scott. Mm. And it's essential that, that you do. You've got to look at um, not how much you think your product or service is worth um, and, and your time is worth. You've got to look at the result that you're going to get someone. Mm. So if you're working with a company that turns over a million pounds a year and you can improve their sales by 10%, then that's a huge increase. So obviously you're, you're worth a lot more to them yeah. than, than a startup. So. Um, but you definitely should be, be putting your, your, your prices up on a regular basis. Um, so I have a, a higher end product that's uh, 16,000 pounds and um, that last year was 12,000 pounds. And wow. we're, we're, we're raising that uh, continuously as we're getting more people in, we're getting more results. And um, mm -hmm. even uh, I'm reluctant sometimes to, yeah. to, to, to raise it, but at, at some point I, I know that it will, uh, our goal is to get it to closer to 50,000 right. pounds. Uh, for a year because uh, it gets the people the results. Mm -hmm. So you, you've just got to keep edging your prices up. Lots of businesses go backwards. They're just looking to discount to get the deal. Um, if, if someone's not going to buy it, just let them walk away from the deal. And uh, don't go chasing people for uh, say, I'll reduce it and stuff like that. Just just let them go because uh, if they really want it, they'll, they'll come back. People do sometimes come back and say, okay, right, let's go for it. So. Interesting. That is just being fully confident in your value and truly under, if you truly believe in your value, then other people will be, believe also and be yeah, willing definitely. to pay what you, what you ask for. So that's really interesting, definitely something that's gonna help me going forward in the future. So we've just got two final questions. Um, so this is another one, I know this is important for a lot of people, a lot of millennials now and leaving university. With personal brand is such a big thing now. Yeah. 
everything's seen, especially in the digital age, being a digital marketer, everything's seen, every post. So what would you say is the three core tips of building your personal brand in today's age? So, I mean, you've got to be visible. Um, that, 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 that's essential. You've just got to start, like, as well. Mm. Most people just aren't start to, to do anything um, and and I think as well to, to build your brand you need to, to build a list so you need to have guides and, and reports and things that are going to give value to people so they can opt in so you can keep in touch with them uh, because uh, they just see one video or one blog post or one bit of content from you you need a way to keep delivering that back to them because it takes time it takes time for people to see you repetitively over and over and over and over again uh, to build that that brand share and mind share with those people so um, yeah i would just keep keep uh, focus on building the list is, is a key interesting thing all right very interesting um and finishing off this is uh gonna be quite an interesting question i actually added this to it um because i've never asked you this question is what do you believe the future is of digital marketing um, I think that um, there's, there's, a, there's a strategy called retargeting, uh, which is where people hit your website and, and you follow them around. Um, I think that's going to be uh, a real key that you build lists, uh, pixeled audiences, that you can follow people around on, on Facebook and stuff like that. I think Facebook's going to get harder to advertise to, to cold traffic um, mm -hmm. going forward. Um, I also think that... Um, things like augmented reality and stuff like that are, are, are going to be big and people should be looking at um, how they can use that in their business. I think uh, it will get easier to use for small businesses. I think now it's expensive and hard to, to do and lots of people wouldn't know even where to start with that, even myself. Yeah. Uh, but I think in, in the future, people will make software to make that really, really simple to, do, to, to, to implement into your business. So I think that's a good one to, to watch out for as well. Augmented reality, I think it's going to be a, a game changer. Interesting. Interesting. Well, thank you very much. I hope All you right, can. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you very <laughs> much. Good. I appreciate that. First, uh, first time. So I really appreciate you coming on as the first time, and oh, hopefully you can continue th continue this and do it at least once a month or maybe even twice a month. But I hope you gain value from that interview. Um, I'll be sharing this on social media, so please do share as well. Um, obviously, you'll be watching on my YouTube channel, so that's at Scott Mears. Um, but you can go follow me on Twitter as well. That's at Scott Mears underscore. Or you can go to my Facebook page, which is at Scott Mears Entrepreneur. I hope you gained value for that. Thank you very much, James, no again. And we'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye. Oh, bye, guys.